Hey, this will be a video chart on UWRL. Uh, really has done a nice job of coming off the bottom uh, back here in late June. And um, with today's volume surge, you can see that, uh, you know, it doesn't look like things are slowing down uh, for the past. What is this? This is the fourth day in a row with increasing volume. And um, from a technical point, increasing volume like we have here with increasing share price, uh, that's always a positive signal and something that, uh, you know, from an overall standpoint, it just uh, makes the chart look pretty. Uh, it makes the chart look bullish. And, um, you know, so far so good for this one right now. I've been getting quite a few requests on it, and I want to get things kind of updated. Uh, I wish I could have gotten in a few days ago, but just been busy. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of talk about the support levels, uh, because obviously stocks can't go up forever. And with stocks like this, uh, the, the key thing from a charting perspective is how do they react when you get pullbacks and consolidation? Um, you know, sure, everybody would love to see just green candles keep coming and coming and coming, but that's just unrealistic. All stocks pull back. All stocks have, uh, you know, profit taking. Uh, but what separates, you know, the big, the big bullish ones from kind of the uh, fakers are um, the way they react during consolidation phases. You know, some stocks have moves like this, and then they get a little bit of selling, a few red days, and then the chart just collapses and it falls right back down. Uh, is that what I'm saying will happen with this one? Uh, I'm not. I'm just uh, pointing out that, you know, uh, when the price does pull back, uh, you know, that's when it's kind of uh, the big test to separate separate kind of the big boys from, uh, you know, the wannabes. Uh, but with this one, we have, uh, it's pretty easy uh, to kind of measure uh, the strength of any pullbacks. We've got, gotten above two of the key uh, moving averages, which are now support, le support levels. Uh, so, um, you know, even if you're new to charts, uh, you know, and have been kind of studying or reviewing, uh, you know, you should kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, but if not, let's just uh, dig in. The first one, and I'll draw a line to correspond with it, uh, is going to be this purple line here. This is the 50-day simple moving average. And this was the resistance going into today. However, uh, you can see that the bulls crushed it. So this resistance has now been turned into a support. Currently, it's valued at 0 0.00, we'll call it 1.9. So this will be the first key area of support. You know, ideally, if the price can stay above here, that would be perfect. And that would show that the bulls uh, are really packing a punch and have quite a bit of strength. Uh, the other key area of support is going to be down here at this orange line, uh, which is the 200-day simple moving average. Once again, I'll draw this line to correspond with that. Uh, this one is valued at 0 0.0014 right now. And up here, this is more of kind of what I'll call the ideal one, meaning uh, ideally it'd be great if the price could hold this. Uh, but if it doesn't, you know, not the end of the world. And really this isn't technically the must hold level, uh, but there's no reason why, uh, you know, this 200 day shouldn't hold if this is going to be a truly strong move. Uh, you know, this has been a key area uh, of resistance that's knocked the price down a few times. Uh, so with any sort of pullback, you know, if this is a genuinely strong move, there should be all sorts of people just, you know, drooling to get shares down here. So, uh, you know, once more, uh, the 50 day, which is a purple line right here, is the ideal support level. The 200 day, this orange line, is the uh, um, kind of must hold level in terms of uh, making sure that the chart stays, you know, extremely bullish looking. Because let's think about this. Let's just say it pulls all the way down here and starts to bounce around before heading back up. Well, then what we'd have in that situation is we'd have a set of lows down here, and then our new set of lows would be right here. And then obviously that set is higher than the previous ones which would then give us the ability to draw an uptrend line like this. And that's the name of the game. You make money in uptrends. Um, so that would be, you know, the key thing that we want to see happen. Uh, in terms of resistances, right now the nearest one is right here at, move this up a little bit, 003, which is taken from uh, this high over here. And then after that, uh, the next highs are right up here in this area. I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself in terms of resistances because, like I said, uh, the true test is going to be uh, the support levels and what sort of consolidation the chart goes through. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. Uh, we've been making some good money together. So I'd encourage you to head to the website, uh, sign up, and see what it's all about. 
One more time, this was UWRL. Thanks for listening.